remember talking to Tommy Maddox about this. They designed a football that was to propel the inclement weather that the league was going to play in the midst of. Whereas an NCAA football, an NFL football, retains a little bit of moisture by design. They thought it best if the XFL football was weatherproof. Spalding made this black ball. Well, you get any moisture at all on it, it's like the slipperiest thing. It's like a grease pick. As a result, the quarterbacks couldn't hold on to it. Not even swatted away, lost it. These are accomplished quarterbacks. Most of them had decent college careers, and Tommy Maddox described it as trying to throw a wet duck. So they sent the footballs back to the commissioner of the XFL. I'm not much of a home handyman, but I happen to have 68 sandpaper in the basement, and I buffed the whole football. And interestingly enough, it barely changed the color. Didn't even take the shine off the red, but you could see it scored it a little bit. Ran back upstairs, got in the shower, wet the football, and I'm in the shower. It's not slippery anymore. There was a box of footballs next to the shower, and his wife handed him the footballs one by one. He scrubbed them down with sandpaper, put them back in the box, and sent them back out to the clubs. This was a very high level that the league was operating on with its gajillion dollar budget and a box of sandpaper. If they're dry, it doesn't matter when they're wet. It's better. It's funny, you think about the inflator gate, we had ours long before. We had teams that would sand down some of the balls and then dish out the slippery balls to the other team. I usually put the uh, soft skin on it and it gives a real quick attack. Back side, back to our steel. Uh -huh. But the thing about it, as soon as it gets wet, it turns a big ice football. Basil's losing his mind, so he calls a conference call. I love Basil, it was the only time he ever yelled at me. He's just ranting about, your players have got to do, your equipment managers on fire, people and all that. I say, hey, Basil, why don't we go to Home Depot and get them to sponsor this with a sandpaper company? I got lit up pretty good afterwards. But we did stand down the balls, and I will admit that maybe a couple slippery balls did go to the other team when they played in Orlando.